In Lewis Carroll's epic story, Alice in Wonderland, Alice asks the Cheshire Cat which way she ought to go. To which the cat replies, Well, that depends very much on where you want to get to. Alice claims it doesn't much matter to her. And the cat wisely says, Well, then it doesn't much matter which way you go. Carol's clever wording captures the essence of learning targets in today's classroom. A learning target is the destination. It is what you program into your GPS when taking a trip. For students, it's the what to learn, how deeply to learn it, and exactly how to demonstrate their new learning. Without an adequate learning target, students have no sense of purpose or connection to what they are expected to understand. In a 2014 group study, Shelby County students from across the county resoundingly gave feedback demanding that what they learn needs to make sense to them. Establishing quality learning targets in the classroom is the first step to building the bridge to deeper learning. Janice Bullard of Clear Creek Elementary has a unique and effective system for introducing learning targets to her students. In this 21CP series video, we'll visit Ms. Bullard's classroom and watch as she not only effectively uses learning targets, but involves her students in its creation. Alright, so what you're going to do when you, when you work with your partner, you're going to be writing a paragraph explaining how you know this is a poem, okay? Alright, so what's that going to look like as our learning target? How are we going to say that as a learning target? After a mini lesson in which Mrs. Bullard has modeled the skill, she transitions to a group discussion to establish the learning target. She asks her students to use their own language to complete an I am statement. The purpose is for students to specifically name what they will be doing. Okay, I am writing, you all look at this and tell me if you want to add to it, writing why I think this is a poem. Think this is a poem. And can I add the word structure since I know that that's our focus today? Yeah. I see. I am writing why I think this is a poem by writing, by naming. Oh, I love that. I was going to say writing about, but I like, I like Jordan's better. By naming the structure. The second part of the learning target carries on the idea from the what, established in the I am, to the why. It answers for students, why am I learning this? Mrs. Bullard challenges her students to complete a statement that begins with, so that. This critical piece is the bridge that moves students from simple compliance to deeper understanding. After a few clarifying questions, her students know the routine, which allows them to move to the area of the room where they'll compose. Notice there's still a third piece of the learning target yet to be determined. Mrs. Bullard has found that allowing her students to get settled and then using the catch and release method to identify the last component is the most effective. The third part of the learning target is the identification of success criteria. Again, using the student's own language, Mrs. Bullard and class answer the statement, I'll know I get it when. This intricate final step clearly defines for students what mastery looks like. In the big picture of learning targets as a destination, this is the step that allows students to lift their eyes from the work they have completed and answer for themselves whether they have succeeded 
or whether they need more work. Thank you.